Hey guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about CSS property content visibility. So the content visibility property indicates to the browser whether or not an element's content should be rendered at initial load time. Okay. So as the browser starts loading content and it is start playing it on screen, this content visibility property allows us to step in and tell the browser not, not to load the contents of an element until it is needed. So you can think um, like a lazy loading in the sense uh, that off screen elements children are not rendered until they are in the viewport. So how you can use this CSS property? You can use element and content visibility and the value is hidden okay so the main point of using content visibility is performance it can help to speed up the page load because the browser is able to defer rendering elements that are not in users viewport until the user scrolls to them okay so it is very uh, useful when you uh, when you are working with performance of specific web page Okay, so uh, there are uh, values possible hidden uh, content visibility property accepts three values that is hidden, visible and auto. Hidden means the element bypasses its contents. Okay, that is similar to display none property, display none value. Okay, to the contents. Second value is visible. There is no effect and the element is rendered as normal. Okay. And third value is auto the element in auto the element has layout style and paint containment so the browser gets to determine if this content is relevant to the user and if it is not then the browser will skip it okay and at the same time the element is still focusable selectable and accessible uh, like search and tab okay in in page search and tab okay so um, there is one thing you need to uh, keep in your mind. It is a sort of uh, similar to display none because the element is not painted to the page at all when you use content visibility hidden. Okay. So it is very similar to display none. And when the rule is removed, the browser has to render the element and its contents with content visibility hidden. The element is hidden, but its rendered state is cached. Okay, so it is cached. It is not actually removed, but it is cached. So when you remove this rule, the browser does not have to render the element from scratch, from scratch. Okay, so you might need to use this on something that uh, that is hidden by default. And there is there are some cases then you want to show at some point of time in your page like scroll. Okay, uh, similarly content visible auto and you can use a lazy loading that is content visibility auto for entire parts of the dome okay so uh, there are a few concerns accessibility concerns are there uh, when you use this property content visibility auto and uh, performance is really one point that you should keep in your mind when you use content visibility hidden or auto okay so uh, with this content visibility auto there is uh, one other property that you can use. It is contain. Let me show you. It is contain interesting intrinsic size. Okay. And then you can use it 3000 pixel. Okay. So that is a placeholder for not yet rendered content. This value content intrinsic size will act as a placeholder for not yet rendered content. Okay. So uh, this is uh, how this content visibility property works. And this uh, let's talk about browser support. So it is supporting um, properly by browser uh, Chrome browser, but it is not supported at all by Safari or Mozilla Firefox and IE. However, it is supported by Edge. So whenever you are using this property in production, you have to keep these points in your mind. 
okay so guys uh, that's all for these videos uh, yeah before we end up let me show you one demo so i found one demo here uh, let me show you so uh, someone has created this content visibility check website so uh, you can see uh, there are some content like image and text content is there and there are more than 100 images on this website on this website okay so what exactly this demo is doing so you can see this um, someone has created basic website the dummy text and total of 185 images okay so uh, when this page is created uh, that user have you can see one branch has a content visibility and content intrinsic size properties and other does not and the comparison is here so you can see now uh, when you use this content visibility property to some content uh, let's say for images the render time is 125 millisecond you can see here right 125 millisecond and uh, the same page when content visibility rendered is about a quarter of the time so uh, this is without content visibility property and this page is using content visibility hidden and you see the rendering time is 24 milliseconds so it is drastically uh, changing the performance of your page so right now let's see what is the property applied so this is section this is text paragraph and image okay so now right now of any section this property is not applied yeah it is there that is fine so this is section section text paragraph and image parent image so that is overflow yeah okay so right now on this website this property content visibility is not getting applied so uh, let me reload it and it is static website using text and image so you can't see uh, the difference uh, with this content visibility css property but when you have a dynamic content like uh, images are loading from uh, external url or you are loading images from your server or text from the database in that case you can use this property to uh, make sure that whenever user is loading or scrolling this page and this part of web page will be loaded only when the user scrolls to that particular section so it is similar kind to lazy loading okay so uh, this is a very nice example that you can find on css trick okay all right guys that's all for this video if you are new to my channel please visit my channel there are more than 200 videos uploaded on my channel most of the videos are related to css html javascript let's go to playlist and in playlist you can see that uh, there are more than um, you can say 16 videos on wordpress there are 48 videos on javascript tutorials so if you are beginning if you are be uh, very beginner to web development this playlist will surely help you uh, there is one playlist for css3 properties uh, and uh, let me show you another one yeah this is um, yeah this is how to learn css selectors so in this particular playlist you can find more than 50 videos and it includes all the css selectors that are possible that are available to the browser so i hope you will uh, check out my channel and please subscribe to my channel and keep supporting thanks guys see you next time around bye